Hey, hey everybody. everybody! We're the Toy Box Treasure Hunters. Hey, we're super excited today. We're super yeah. excited and we want to welcome you. Welcome you into the Masterverse. Yeah. There has been a new toy line that just dropped the other day and I'm not sure how many of them have hit the shelves yet, but I know that I went to Target and I saw this one. And this is definitely the one that I wanted to see. What is it, boys? It is... Skelegod. This, this is, is Skelegod. favorite line. New favorite? It's based yeah. off of the Masters of the Universe... Netflix Re series. Revelation Netflix series, which is coming out July 23rd. That's right. This video is brought to you by Netflix. Yeah. Well, not really. But it's all right. It's not sponsored by Netflix. So... Unless you want to sponsor us. Mmm. We watched the, uh, the trailer for the new uh, Masters of the Universe Revelation show. I'm, I'm it, a hero. it looks amazing, right yeah, guys? It, it looks like they're including everyone. Everyone. Like, there's Clamp Champ in there. Clamp Champ, Clawful. Orko, Orko's not a weak villain. It doesn't look like Orko's gonna be uh, weak. comic relief. Looks That's like true. he's actually gonna be pretty powerful, which is super awesome. It'll be cool to see. And the trailer, but, it seems like it's in the timeline. The last it, part. It picks right up where the 80s show left off. So that's... I can't wait to see it. July 23rd. July 23rd. July part, 23rd. Get part one. Is when we get part one. I don't know if part one is going to be <laughs> first episode or first season. I don't know. We'll see. But this character... I don't even know enough about what's going to happen to know what is up with this super buff super amazing Skeletor version because on the back it has the first wave you know you've got you've got Battle Cat and He-Man and Moss Man and Skeletor and Evil Inn still no Tila <laughs> but there is a Skeletor and you've got this guy so I'm not sure what it is what it's going to be all about but I can't wait to find out we're going to get this thing open, and we're going to check this out because it's too cool to leave in a package. Yeah. Yeah. Be right back. All right. Oh. We've got him out of the package. So cool. There he is right there. So cool. Yeah, that's probably the coolest looking He-Man figure I've ever seen. You think so? Yeah. You think it's the coolest looking one ever? Yeah. I don't know. It'd be pretty hard to beat. Check it out. This guy's got these kneecaps that look have like the skull on them, yeah. right? He's got these shoulder blades that have like this like a witch king from Lord of the Rings going on right there. So, so cool. and he has kind of a chest plate that looks like the old battle armor insignia. I'm surprised he doesn't have a Havoc staff, but if you look at his helmet, it has the horns. So maybe he doesn't have a Havoc staff because he doesn't need one. What if he is the Havoc staff? Or maybe the Havoc staff has replaced his skull. Ooh. I don't know. But he has... He comes with different hands, so he has these super awesome, menacing-looking open hands. Yeah. Right? These open hands look great. But he also has closed hands to fit his weapons. So we're going to see... How easily these hands pop on and off really quick and when the hand pops off you can remove his armor you have him there with his sword oh, weird. you can have him with this Flaming punch. yeah he has this super awesome looking green flaming punch Looks like a so that's gonna powder. that is gonna fit right over his fist like that it's like it's using magical power that is awesome it and he comes, comes with a oh go ahead he go comes ahead. with this super cool cape and it, oh. it looks like it connects to him by magnets now, i haven't seen that before and i haven't tried this yet i hope they're strong let's see are the magnets going to attach? It didn't come with any instructions, so I don't know where exactly to attach said magnets, if they are magnets. Maybe, or, it, maybe it clips on right here. Can I see it? Right onto his right armor? There. Yeah, maybe. Okay, so if you take his shoulder pads and you peel them back up like that, you can see that, yeah, this is a very flexible, pliable rubber. 
like that. Maybe so you want to try to hook them. that in. Get our Skelligod all caped up. Hmm. What do you think? Stress. Maybe we're doing this wrong. Yeah, that looks oh, pretty cool. That looks pretty cool. Okay, that looks good right there. Oh, except it falls off. <laughs> I don't know. This If you know how it's actually This might have been a good time to uh send some instructions, Mattel. Okay. So it just took a little bit of doing, but there is a little slot in the back here where you just take the little beam and you clip it in. So there is our caped menacing Skeletor. And you know what I really like? What's uh, that, guys? Skeletor. The um, purple. Felt. Oh, felt. He actually has a cloth cape. And not, not a plastic one. Not a plastic one. That So the Origins lines that have been coming out have had plastic all capes. plastic capes. Didn't it? Okay. What do you guys think of this Skella God? That is my favorite super cool. I can't wait to see how he participates in the storyline. Favorite action figure, Sam? Yeah. Kind That's of a neat detail here with these little uh, danglies. These little danglies on his cape. I hope that the new series, the new He-Man series, will actually have like a storyline and not try to stop Skeletor or whatever he's doing it. It's going to have a storyline. Don't worry. So that's it. I mean, this thing is very, is highly articulable. I think that's a word. His legs, you have articulation at the hip, two points of articulation at the knee, articulation at the foot, or at the heel, and the shin. It's supposed to have like 30 points of articulation. 30 points of articulation. So you got two more at the elbow, a ball joint at the shoulder. Of course, you got 30 points of articulation right there. 30 points. Very good. And let's see, his head, let's see, okay, so we got left, right swivel, up and down swivel, so his head's on a ball joint. I think we can pop off his head. Yeah. You oh. killed Skull of God. You know what? This might actually fit with some, some origins. origins figures. Find He-Man's surprise face. <laughs> we'll be right back. All right, we're going to bring some out rapid fire. We got Murgod. We got... We've got he God. He God. <laughs> Hold on, we got more. Oh, that's what we got. That is we the original Hordak. Not <laughs> popping his head off. We have. Did you find surprise? Surprise God. Huh? <laughs> ah! <laughs> <laughs> that's awesome. Yeah. And we've got. Skelly God Merman. <laughs> <laughs> Sweet. Good to know. They are interchangeable. That's like the 2000X Skeletor. Yeah. He's bald. So, super cool. Let's get his head back on there. That's the best looking head for him, yeah. I think. All right. Oh, it's not. Let us know. It's not. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> no. Chop. I'm loving this figure. Yeah. You know, for display or for play first off to play him with with some of our uh yeah let's put a head on e-man <laughs> to play with this with the origins figures check out the height difference <laughs> check out the height difference all right you between know, one of the things i don't like about the figure is that it comes with a whole power sword and not oh you perfectionist I Pure. But, oh, what if it is Skelligod? It's Skelligod with him. Like Sam said, he's holding the completed sword. So that's him. Why he looks like that. Compared to an Origins figure. I mean, Origins man, figures are tall. He is literally head and shoulders taller than an Origins figure. I can't wait to see what the rest of these figures look like. Can't wait to get our hands on them. Let us know what you think of Skelligod here the in the comments down below. What's that? I hope the Moss Man is flocked. He might be. Scented. I don't know. I've seen some cool details and stuff. So, guys, uh, out of seven. 10. Nine. 11. Which, of course, he goes 11, he goes 9. That makes it a perfect 10 out of 10 by the Toy Box Treasure Hunter scale. So, we'll catch you next time. Thanks for dropping by. Hope you like this Skelligod figure. I hope you're able to get yourself one. 
I think every household in America should have this thing. It yeah. should be a law now. It should be a law. Everyone must have Skelligon. I'm sure if he were in control, he would make it a rule. So, it's going to do it for us for today. Yeah. Thanks for dropping by, guys. We love you. Don't forget, wash, wash your, your hands. hands. Catch you next time. Bye. Bye.